everyone, and today um, we're here with the TV show Kinder Welt, and today I'm, uh, I'll be introducing to all of you Cynthia. Hi, uh, my name's Hava, and I'll be the first interview partner to be asking you a few questions. Why did the German people take the African stuff? Mm, firstly, I, the Germans took the artifacts because they, they saw it and it was something good, it looked good. And for some of them, they realized that it had a lot of worth and that if they brought it to Europe, they are going to make lots of money from it. Some took it to have it as their personal stuff. Some took it to make uh, money from it. Others took it and make, make, made a museum from it, which, uh, which, as we could see, it's still uh, present today in the Humboldt Forum. When did the German and the African people know that this actually happened? It, I, I think when you have something and the moment is gone, you, you would realize it. And especially if it's something very important to you, for example, like the Gonso, it's the people's God, it's the identity, and if somebody takes it away from you, then you're definitely going to uh, just realize that it, you don't have it anymore. And in places where there were lots of destruction that took place, like in Namibia where a, a whole village had to be killed so that the artifacts could be taken, and then you realize something is, has left you. The, 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 the people realize that it's gone, and for others, they only realize after it has already gone. Some, some people realize it when uh, they are doing the exchange, actually. Like uh, the Douala Manga Bell in Douala, they said he, he got uh, a uniform in exchange for, uh, to give his throne away. So he realized, I, I, I want to believe he realized that his throne is gone after the exchange. What did the Germans uh, get in return from all of the artifacts that were stolen by them? You mean the Africans? Uh, yeah. So yes, in most cases they didn't receive anything, but just the fact that they had given it to the white man, and in most cases they were stolen or they were taken by force. So the, uh, the people didn't re receive anything for the artifacts that were being given to the, to the Germans. And it's sad when you go to, 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 the, to, to the Humboldt Forum and see how, how it's been written that they were given in exchange or they were being given for, uh, for a uniform. It's, like, because it's, it's not a fair trade if, if I have to give you my identity just to get a piece of material. So it's, it's um, the, th the things were exchanged maybe for some value, but it was not uh, a value that was worth what that is. Like if, 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 I, if I would put it in a basic uh, terms for you to understand, if I take your iPhone that is worth about maybe 600 euro, and instead of paying you 600 euro, I give you maybe 10 euros. You see, I'm cheating you because I, I I'm not giving you the equivalence of what uh, that phone, phone is worth. We're just gonna get in uh, our new or like our next partner um, for the interview, and that will be uh, Ben Liz. Hi everyone, welcome back to Kinder der Welt. I'm Ben Liz, and I'm going to introduce Cynthia. Hello, Ben Liz. Today I'm gonna ask you a few questions. When did the, did the African country be became aware about the fight? Uh, it's, it's different for every country. It's different for uh, different people because they were not robbed in the same way. And so uh, some people realized themselves immediately and others uh, much more later. So like the people whom they stole their God, they started, they, they started looking for it like right away because they, they realized that they are without their identity. So the, it, 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 it didn't start from, uh, it's not the same for everybody. What kind of stolen art that had been exposed in the Humboldt? Uh, there are different kinds of arts. There are even, the, there are uh, like gods, for example, the Gonso, that's the god of the Nso people in Cameroon. There are artifacts uh, like carvings from Oku. There are uh, lots of paintings and uh, 
crafts and thrones and um, animal skin from wood to stone to uh, ivory and you can name them. Why is it so important for, the, for Africa and why is it so important for Germany? Yes, I think the artifacts are first of all very important for the Africans because they made it, they saw the need for it and they made it and it's unfair that it should be taken away from them without uh, their knowledge or their permission or without them we fully concerning uh, that it should be taken. It's true some of the things were bought but not all of it was bought and so the ones which were stolen should actually be given back and so it's important, um, like I already mentioned, the God, if uh, it's, it's the people's identity. So if you, if you steal that away, then you've, you've stolen the person's identity, so you need to give it back. And for, the, for, for things like the throne that was, was taken, then you've taken away the, the entire kingdom. The, you don't have any more authority, like in the African tradition, without your throne, then you're not a king. And it's, for, the, for the German people, it's important because the... They bring it here and there are people like it, the citizens come and they would pay money to, to come and see it. So it's generating income for their economy. And when you go to the Humboldt Forum, for example, there are lots and lots of people uh, being employed to, take, to, to, to watch over this artifact. And I mean, a giant structure is being put up for this. So it's bringing development for them. There are tourists coming from different places just to see these artifacts. And so it's bringing development for them. It's bringing employment for the people. It's, it's bringing in tourists from different countries and even from within the country. So it's important for the Germans to keep these things because it's making their citizens um, happy and it's uh, keeping their economy rolling. Do you also know like how many art arts like were stolen? Uh, unfortunately, I can't estimate how much of the uh, artifacts were stolen because some are in the museum and some uh, others are actually keeping them in their homes. So like people who went to, for example, like Zingraf, when maybe he was in Bafut, he got some stuff and he loved them, so he would keep it at his home. So you, uh, maybe that would not actually be counted. So um, I really don't know exactly the number of artifacts that were taken. And next I'm going to welcome Marlon. Hi, ich bin Marlon vom Kinder der Welt. Schön, dass Sie hier sind. sind hier. Meine erste Frage ist, wie lange gibt es die afrikanische Kultur? Culture is a people. So uh, if there is an African culture, then it has existed. Sing, ever since the African man existed. What is the difference between the Dutch culture and the African Okay, when we talk about Africa, is, Africa is a continent and it will be difficult to compare it or to say because I come only from Cameroon and can only speak Cameroon. Sprechen. Kamerun is anders als Deutsch, weil in, in, in Kamerun sind die Leute immer zusammen, aber hier in Deutschland sind jeder für sich und dann die Regierung kümmert um alle anderen. Wir haben viel, also wir versuch, versuchen viel und, und, und suchen Möglichkeiten, wo wir zusammen sein konnten. Und das ist nicht das, äh, was ich hier erfahre. Und ich glaube, the African or the Cameroon culture is uh, stärker and immer present. We have so viel von Europa gelernt, dass uh, manchmal glauben wir, dass unsere Kultur ist nicht mehr schick oder modern und wir wollen jetzt lieber uh, deutsche Sachen oder westliche Sachen tragen oder essen oder so. Aber wenn man wirklich nachguckt, wir, wir sind Alle äh, fast gleiche. Also wir essen in Kamerun Kartoffel und hier in Deutschland isst man auch Kartoffel. Und Kartoffel ist jetzt in Deutschland wie das äh, traditionelle Essen, aber es ist nicht äh, ein deutsche Essen. Also es ist auch von irgendwo anders gekommen. Also, äh, es gibt einen Unterschied, aber es gibt auch diese äh, Gleichheit. Glauben Sie, die Deutschen würden irgendwann mal ähm, die Schätze? Die, also, äh, 
die sie geklaut haben, zurückgeben den Afrikanern? The things that uh, were stolen, some of them would be given back if the people come for them. And as at now, it's not yet clear because there are not yet constitutions or there are not yet rules and, um, and procedures laid down for, for these uh, artifacts to be restituted and given back to the people. So uh, there is still a lot to be done on the part of the Germans and also to make it easier for the people when they come back to say they want back their things. In other countries, like in Belgium, they've already had, they, they already had like a procedure that, you know, if I start to follow this process, then I have to do this, do this, do this, and then I get back the artifact. But in Germany, that is not yet the case, so it's going to take a while. But if the German people are willing, of course, it's a thing that they can do within a couple of months and it's done. So some of the artifacts um, would probably be given back because the, some of the Germans are realizing that it's, it was with a lot of blood. So yes, there is hope. Uh, but until then, we are still waiting. Thank you for the schönen Antworten and auch danke, dass Sie gekommen sind. Hi, my name is Lisbon from Kinder David. And this is Cynthia. Why were the Africans shamed because of their colors? It's, it's sad that the, some Africans are ashamed or, or being shamed or because of their colors. The white skin is what is modern. And when we look at most posters, you always see like the blonde, straight, uh, white girls and so everybody thinks or most people i'm not included most people think oh that is beauty but um it's because of what the, the western world we've learned from the western world that we think that uh white is like what is modern and um, what uh it's considered beauty i i hate to call it black because it's actually not black um because when you look at me and you put a black or a color to my skin, you see it's not black. So um, some people shame the skin color because uh, they were being likened to, to monkeys or to animals. And so that's why they feel inferior and don't like to identify with this um, melanin color. Why were the Africans, most of them, killed? So they had to be killed in order for their things to be taken away from them. And for, uh, for, for the white man to actually uh, gain power, they had to show them that hey, I have authority over you and I can take away your life if you don't do the things the way I want you to do them. So that is why um, some of them were killed. And yeah, so that their stuff could be taken away from them or so that they could rule their people, either to get uh, the people as slaves or to take away the... Uh, for example, like the artifacts we are talking about this day, yes. When did they start killing people? Europeans killing Africans has been as long as uh, Africa, a slave trade existed. Most people resisted being sold into slavery and so they were being killed and some people died on the way while still in this uh, slave trade uh, transition. So. Uh, killings has existed since uh, the beginning of slave trade in Africa. Thank you for being here. Thank you for answering all of my questions. That's the end. Oh, thank you very much. Ooh. <laughs>